To allay patients' considerable fears of live burial, which, who hasn't had that fear? As well as their own insecurities, 18th and 19th century physicians devised a wide variety of methods used to verify death. Welsh physician and medical historian Jan Bondison collected many of these stories in his witty and admirably researched book, Buried Alive. Read that one to your kids at night. It'll scare them. The methods seem to fall into two categories, those that purported to rouse the patient using unspeakable pain, and those that threw in a little bit of humiliation. The soles of their feet were sliced with razors, needles jammed underneath their toenails, their ears assaulted with bugle horns, hideous shrieks, and excessive noises. One French clergyman recommended shoving a red-hot poker up what Bondelson gentilly refers to as the rear passage. A French physician invented a set of nipple pinchers specifically for the purpose of reanimation. <laughs> Another invented a bagpipe-like contraption used to administer tobacco enemas, which he enthusiastically demonstrated, a little too enthusiastically demonstrated, on cadavers in Paris. The 17th century anatomist Jacob Winslow entreated his colleagues to pour boiling Spanish wax on his patients' foreheads, as well as pour urine, warm urine, into their mouths. Mm. <laughs> One Swedish tract on the matter suggested putting a crawling insect into the patient's ear. For simplicity and originality though, nothing quite beats the shoving of a sharp pencil up the cadaver's nose. I'm Baxter King, and that's creepy. <laughs>